Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Strength for Today's Man. This is volume 34. I appreciate you guys joining me again today. I want to thank those of you that are actually liking the podcast, sharing the podcast, and also subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can know when we upload a new video to Today's Man podcast on YouTube. Now, if you don't have that regular link to Today's Man, you can go to Life's Word Ministry on YouTube and find all of our videos there. Now, the podcast platforms, we're on all of them. If you pull up whatever podcast format you listen to, pull up Today's Man podcast, we should come up. That's Apple, iPod, iPod, Apple um, Podcasts, it's Google Podcasts, uh, Spricker, Spotify, Anchor. Uh, we're on we're on all of them. Heart Radio. So I'm thankful for that because God is allowing us to grow by leaps and by bounds. And I really, really appreciate it. And I'm excited for that. Today, let's talk about some pain, men. Let's talk about some pain. Uh, let's go over to Habakkuk. And that's Habakkuk 1 and 2. And he says, how long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Honestly, haven't you felt like that before? Truly. Now, what we're talking about today, I'm going to entitle this Open Up. Because as men, we really need to open up. And I alluded to some of this in our last podcast about how we as men need to really be able to share with people we trust some of our most deepest hurts. Some of the pain that we deal with, it's hurting our relationships. It's hindering our growth because we're not allowing ourselves to heal because we are inundated with the pain of our past, the devastation of certain relationships that ended. Uh, different disappointments in our lives. There are so much that we as men deal with. I mean, women, I have to give it to them. I have to give it to you, ladies. You guys can share, you talk, you open up, you're able to go to these conferences and just lay it out there. We men, we don't really have that. I don't see too many conferences where it's directed towards men and their hurts. This is why it's important for us as men to be able to open up. But if we can't open up with our friends and families, we need to go to God and we need to open up to God. We need to tell God, I'm hurting, Lord, I'm hurting. And I need you to help me with the pain that I'm dealing with. So much disappointment that I'm dealing with. I need you to help me. And Habakkuk, he was in this situation where he was like, oh, God, how long must I call for help? But you do not listen. It wasn't that God wasn't listening. Pain happens. God was listening. Whether it's the physical pain of an injury, which I have plenty of those. I was uh, this just this morning trying to walk down the stairs and both of my knees were just like, yo, man, we not trying to walk down these stairs today. Just painful. And my sciatic nerve, I can go on and on and on. And it's like, I'm just a story of pain. <laughs> I'm like, man, but you know, we continue to go forward. Say, God, I know I'm healed. I know I'm walking in faith. You know, but here with Habakkuk, he's like, but you do not listen. But God's listening. The emotional pain of a fractured relationship we deal with. We have the unexplained hurt of an accident. There's just so much pain that pain has a habit of working its way right into our everyday lives. Many of you right now are watching. You're dealing with some kind of pain. You're dealing with some kind of hurt. You need to be able to open up and just share it with, again, somebody you trust. Often trying to convince ourselves that everything will get better, that don't even help. And it's even worse 
when some of our friends tell us that, oh, it's going to get better, it's going to get better. And we're like, that's easy to say, man. Thank you for saying that, but it doesn't make it any better. The most pressing issue is the pain. It's the pain. And to assert optimism early proves unconvincing. The Bible, rather than prodding us with these hallmarkish naivetes, it speaks with stark honesty. Habakkuk, for example, shares his broken heart with God and he does not hold back. And that's the wonderful thing about God. You can just let it all out. Don't hold nothing back. With each other, we hold things back. We don't tell everybody everything. We don't tell our friends everything. And that's that's the safety that we need to have because there are some people you just cannot share information with because your information will be all over the neighborhood, all over social media. Did you hear about so-and-so and so? Did you hear what happened? You know what so-and-so is going through? I know they're trying to do well. They're trying to do good. You know, oh, I just want to share with somebody else. They want to pray for you too. No, you're just gossiping. That's all you're doing. But here, Habakkuk didn't hold back throughout his whole exchange with God. He gradually finds himself content, even without all of his hopes being fulfilled. Can you find yourself being content even though a lot of your hopes and dreams are not fulfilled as of yet? Habakkuk didn't allow what he was dealing with to stop him from trusting God. When Habakkuk is completely open and honest with God that he's able to be content. And until you are open and honest with God, then you'll be content. It's only when we dare to ask God those tough questions about our pain and the confusion that we have because of the pain, that he can begin to heal all of our brokenness. He can begin to heal all of our disappointments. He can begin to heal all of the pain that we've been carrying. He can begin to heal and begin to transform us into who we need to be. That's so important. We need to know that God is listening. God has our back. God has not left us. He is right there listening and he is right there waiting for you to just, okay, give it all to me. Open up. Let me have it so I can, so I can help you. I want to start healing you. This is the only time that this is the only way that we can be content with God and content with our situation. If we be completely honest with God and completely open with God. And I'm going to close with this. God, search me to see if I'm hiding pain or confusion that I should be sharing with you. I do have hurting questions. Will you be my guide in this troubling situation? We got to go to God, guys, and let him know, one, that we are hurting. Two, that we are confused. But you know, God tells us in his word that all we got to do is just ask. Ask anything in his name. He said he would do it. But we have to trust and we have to believe. And most of all, we have to open up. This is Strength for Today's Man. I am Malachi Mitchell. This is volume 34. You guys be blessed today. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll meet you right back here on the next podcast. You guys be blessed.